Hey everybody, how you doing? This is not going to be a fun video. <laughs> Normally we have really fun videos, but recently I did a video and say that the TSA at the airport broke my Pistola box and they stole one of my locks. That's 100% true. This is the continuation of that story. I got straight up robbed traveling to this, uh, hog hunting trip I was just at in Texas. If you missed that video, let me fill you in on the start of this story and roll in that footage right here. See, I'm in like a hotel looking room. I'm actually hog hunting down here in Texas, but TSA broke my bing bang case and stole the lock. Let me show you. I got to the ranch and uh, yeah, look at my case. Let me flip this camera around. So here's my suitcase. Had that Yeti bag in here with this suitcase originally, but then I ended up checking two bags and then almost nothing in this one because it was cheaper to check two bags than to pay for this one being overweight. But when you check them, they give you this little piece of paper. It pretty much says, hey, I declared that I had a bing bang in it. And then if you have a case, they always say, if it has holes for locks, you gotta have a lock on it. Well, this one has a lock on it. Uh, let me go ahead and unlock it, hold on. Gotta have two hands. Okay, so I had a lock here and a lock here. This one, unlock it, no problem. Well, this one's broke. I thought, well, maybe it just bounced around, you know, somehow got torqued just right and broke the other lock off. Well. I went all through the suitcase and there is not another lock, period. No lock anywhere. So the TSA people or somebody at the airport broke my case and stole my other lock. So that's pretty garbage. But uh, yeah, pretty messed up. Not real happy about this being broke. Uh, Cause this was my only pistola case that I have that I could fly with. Uh, hopefully on my way back, they actually let me have this on the plane cause Hey, it's broke. I mean, I can only put one lock on it. So hopefully they let me back on the plane. Uh, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, the airport, somebody broke my pistola case and stole the lock or threw it away. Like, how would you not know that I would not find out? It had two locks on it, now it's got one, and it's busted, and the other lock isn't in the suitcase anywhere, so. Uh, pretty messed up. Now my case is broke. Hopefully they let me on the airplane to get home, and they also stole a lock from me. Pretty pretty bummer. You'd also, you'd have to put some super torque on that to break that off too like I don't even know if you could sit there and break that plastic with your hands you'd have to like pick that whole thing up slam it or have some kind of wrench to get enough torque to break that off but yeah all right so where we're picking up the story now is I told y'all I got to Texas my lock was stolen my case was broken well a bunch of you guys reached out to me that actually work at airports all over the country some even in Nashville where I flew out of and said, probably was not TSA people. It was probably baggage handlers. The uh, barcodes on the suitcases flag that say there's bing bangs in there and they know where the dark spots are in the airport where there's no cameras. It happens all the time. People steal stuff all the time. So the story is just going to get worse as I tell it. So case was broken, stole my lock. Lock was nowhere to be found. Uh, a lot of y'all told me that when TSA searches your bag, they have to put a thing in there that says, Hey, TSA was in your bag searching. There was none of that in there. Uh, which makes me think maybe it was an airport employee that stole the, stole the lock and broke my case. When I got to the place in Texas we were hunting, I couldn't find two of my knives. Two very nice knives, some shred knives that I actually got not too long ago that I brought with us. Uh, to use to work on the hogs. The knives weren't there. I was tired, hadn't slept in almost three days. I said, well, maybe, maybe I thought I'd put them in a different pocket or something. And it's got to be in the suitcase. Didn't think much about it. Well, still couldn't find them. Couldn't find those knives. 
Anyways, we do our hog hunt, hunt for three days. Get back to the airport in Corpus Christi, where we're flying out of. We're flying from there to Houston and back to Nashville. And I go to check check my bags. You got to declare there's a bing bang in there. It's, it's really not a big deal. They put a piece of paper in there. You sign a thing that says it's unloaded and all that. And then they take it. Well, the lady says, ooh, this case is broken. I don't think they're going to let you fly with this. So she calls over the TSA security guy. It's a small airport. There's hardly anybody there down in Corpus Christi. And the guy's like, nope, I'm not going to let you check that bing bang case and get that on the airplane. I said, well, y'all people's broke it. I just flew here to this airport with that case. And when I got it, y'all people had broken my case. And he said, well, I don't know what to tell you. My job is to inspect this and tell you, you cannot take that on a plane. I said, well, do you sell cases here? I could go buy one. They said, nope. Your best bet is to go into town somewhere, get a case and come back. Well, I didn't have a car there. We didn't have much time. Our planes were leaving a little bit. Um, they did not let me check that case, sit there and pry it. And, and you could pry it open that big because the one side wasn't locked. They said, absolutely, you're not flying with that. Long story short... We got it on the plane. Um, I'm not going to get into all that on why. Uh, we did it all legit in the right way, but um, we're just going to skip over that part of the story. Anyways, so then I get back home. <clears throat> I unload all my stuff. And I'm thinking, I've got to get these knives. They're, they're really nice uh, Schrade knives. S-C-H-R-A-D-E, if you never heard of them. Schrade knives. Very nice knives. Nowhere to be found. So, all that being said, that leads me to believe that it probably was a baggage handler. Baggage handler, TSA, I don't know. But when I flew from Nashville to Houston to Corpus Christi, Texas, somebody was in my, in my checked bag. They broke my case, stole one of my padlocks, and they stole two very nice, pretty... Uh, expensive very nice knives out of my bag so that furthermore it was not the case jumping around and and my case being broken uh, first of all the lock would have still been in the suitcase right the lock would have been in that suitcase it would have just been broken off and my knives still would have been in there the knives I specifically put in a part of the suitcase that is a smaller compartment that zipped closed, so they weren't jumbling around inside the bigger compartment of the suitcase. Somebody, between the point that I put my bag on the thing in Nashville, then it went to Houston, and then we had a connection there in Houston to Corpus Christi. Sometime in between there, an airport employee or the TSA got into my bag, Broke my gun case, stole the padlock, and stole two very nice knives out of my bag. Some airport employee. In that time frame, when my baggage went from Nashville to Corpus Christi, Texas. And a bunch of y'all are saying, oh, you should sue them and you should file a claim. And To me, it's not worth all that hassle. I probably should have paid the little $20 insurance fee or whatever and made a claim. I didn't. Confirmed that the knives were gone until I was back here in Nashville. All that being said, if you're flying with bing bangs, if you're flying with knives, put your knives in your locked cases. Make sure you have really good cases. Make sure you have really good locks. I had good locks, but apparently that case was brittle enough where someone could... I mean, if they're going to get in it, if someone has a crowbar or something, they're going to break the case no matter what they got. Uh -oh. So... What did we learn? One, <laughs> drive if you can. I don't even like planes, but sometimes when you're on a short time frame, you got to get on, on a plane. Plus, that's that much more time. If you're driving across the country, that's time away from my family and all that. One, if you don't have to fly with the bing bangs and your nice stuff, don't do it. Because uh, you have to check it, and it has to be out of your possession. You don't know what's going to happen to it. People will steal your knives, and people will break your gun cases and steal your locks. But if you have to, make sure you got the best case that you can and uh, lock your knives in that case with your bing bangs. Uh, that's what I learned. I got, I'm going to go get a new case. Uh, 
And that's just that. Somebody at the airport, airport employee, robbed me of about roughly $500 worth of knives and broke my case and stole the lock um, and caused me a big headache and a big hassle of getting my Bolite Slinger back to me. Uh, big headache and a big pain. Uh, that was United Airlines, by the way. Not impressed with them. I'll, I won't take them. Um, uh, Unless I have to again. United Airlines. You got some shysters within your uh, employees there. And people that have access to the bags. United's got some shysters. Broke my stuff. Stole my knives. Between Nashville, Houston, Corpus Christi. But hey. Appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned. We got a whole lot more videos on the way. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. It's a bummer I got jacked, but what can you do? We're going to forget about it and keep on trucking. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie hoo!